Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. Today I wanted to share a Christmas card that came out actually honestly way better than I was expecting it to. Uh, that sounds kind of weird, but I really, really like the way it came out. Um, it's just a five by seven card. I haven't put my verse on the inside yet. I always do my inserts last. Once I know who they're going to, then I, I do the inside. But um, it's just a, a really pretty simple card. It's made with an Anna Griffin die set um, that I recently got as part of an Anna Griffin mystery box. Um, I almost bought this die set, and I'm, so I'm really glad that I didn't because I got it in the mystery box. And it's a, a full die set. It's meant for a slimline card, but I didn't want to make a slimline card. So I only used part of the dies. So I used the outline die and, the, and this die, which makes that fireplace. I just used, I didn't use the outline of the, the fire. I just used that. And then this is, this die is the garland. And then I used the candles and the wreath. Now the, this is to make like a mirror. If you had a slimline card that was tall, you could put a mirror above the fireplace. And then these are lights that go on each side. I didn't really have enough room for that and I didn't want to put them on. So I left those off. I'll use them on another card. The way that I did this is I actually cut all of it out of, um, well, almost all of it, out of uh, Centura Pearl. And then I colored with my alcohol markers. So I'm gonna do that. So let me set that to the side, get my plates in here. And this is just Centura Pearl white with a hint of gold. And I'm gonna cut my fireplace and my wreath and my garland and my fire itself and my candles all out of this Centura Pearl. Now, one thing I am gonna do is, so this is the piece that came out of the fireplace and make sure you get it the right way up. So it goes this way. And I'm gonna run that through a brick embossing folder. So it looks like there's brick in the back of my fireplace. And the reason you want it up the right side up is so that you can get it in your embossing folder the right way. And then I'm gonna take that brick embossing folder and I'm just gonna ink it with a little bit of, um, because it's Centura Pearl, I find that the opaque pigment inks work best on Centura Pearl. And this is a seal brown, so a dark kind of a medium brown opaque pigment. And I'm just gonna put some color on there. Not a lot, just, you know, enough to make it look like brick. And you could do it in brown or, or whatever, gray or whatever color you want. And clean up my mess. Um, well, I got my inks out. Then I took a sheet. So for this top part, I just took a piece of paper that's three by three and a half. And this is just white cardstock. You could use ivory, but I like to use up my white scraps whenever I can. And I'm just gonna ink it with water reactive sandstorm. So a light brown. And I'm just trying, cause my card base is ivory. So I'm just trying to get it to look not white. I don't really want it brown. Um, if you used ivory cardstock, you probably wouldn't even have to ink it at all. But I liked, Putting the ink on it gives it a little look of almost like plaster, you know, like text, a little bit of texture because it gets a little bit of varied. And then I took strips of, these are just quarter inch by about three and a half inches long. And I glued three of them together and I'm gonna ink those and I'm gonna make them even darker. And that just kind of goes on the side of that like, you know, right here on the side. And it just gives it a little bit of definition, um, like it's a, an inset panel above the fireplace. And it's just an easy way to do it. And it gives you some, uh, by gluing three of them together, it gives you some dimension without having to use foam tape. And then I'm gonna color these in. And I'm just gonna use my alcohol pens and I didn't put any color at all on my fireplace itself. And I used um, just sort of the alpine green 
the mid and the dark to color in what would be the greenery. And this is an emboss, it, the die cuts and embosses. And so you don't really need to do, like you don't color it in. I'm not gonna color it in completely. I'm really just putting some color where the embossing is that looks like greenery. That's enough, you don't have to do too much. And this is the mid alpine green from Spectrum Noir's um, Tri-Blends. And then I'm just going to go back in with the dark and add a little bit of dark here and there just for some contrast. And then I'm going to do the same thing on my wreath. And then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to create and I'm going to color in the ribbon in a dark red or the dark in the mid. And again, I'm just going to use the dark on parts of it and the mid on parts of it just to give it a little bit of a different look. And then we're going to go up. That ribbon's going to be red. And then same with this ribbon. And then each of these have like little ornaments on them. And I'm just going to go in with yellow. And this is a citrus blend. And it's the darkest shade. Now for this, I'm going to use the dark yellow on the outside to kind of color in the outside piece of it. I don't know what you call that, like the stand that you put the wood in. And then I've got an earth brown blend that I'm gonna put color in these logs. I use the darkest shade there and then the mid shade in the middle. And then the same thing on the flames. I'm gonna do the light yellow. And then the light red. We're just going to put our card together. So this is a five by seven card base. And I just put some little plaid uh, card on there. I'm going to put my fireplace right at the bottom and I'm going to put that on with foam tape. I'm just going to center it up. Get it straight. Oh, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to put my top on right behind my fireplace and just kind of tuck it down underneath because you want it to be not sticking off the top. Okay. Then I'm going to put my little side pieces on. And then this is going to glue right inside there. And I put that flat so that it looks like it's a little bit recessed inside the fireplace. And you can just kind of slide it in there and then get it in the right place. Okay. Then the rest I'm going to put on with 3D glue gel. So as you know, I use my Kalal 3D glue gel in a little, um, in my syringe. And we're just gonna put dollops on our logs, set those in right at the bottom. 
I'm going to put my candles on. They're going to go on the mantelpiece right in the middle. I'm going to put my um, foliage, what is it called? A swag? I don't know. It's going to go right there. And then I'm going to put my wreath on. And again, I'm going to trim that off once I get it in the right spot. Okay. And that's it. That's your card. It goes together really quick. Two different variations using different background cards. Um, background papers, but I think I like the red a little bit better, but I didn't have another sheet of that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like that.